Hello, welcome to Habitat for Humanity Home Care Series. I'm Ron and I served with AmeriCorps as a volunteer construction crew leader. Today's topic is weatherization. caulking gun towards you, never push. Once you get your caulk flowing, you want to smoothly move your caulking gun to lay down the bead between the frame and the window. You can always go over it with a wet rag to smooth that out to make a nice clean seam. If you're unconfident about your caulking skills, you can always mask off the area before applying your caulk. It's important to remove the tape before the caulk dries or you'll end up pulling the caulk out of the joint. One of the other things you can do is to install a window insulation shrink kit to your windows. Many manufacturers produce these in multiple sizes. So get the one that 
most closely fits your window. And this is a pretty easy process. What you want to do is measure out your window and then install your tape down and around the entire window. After you've wiped down your window frame with alcohol, you'll take your two-sided tape and attach it to the frame. Once you have your tape in place, remove the backing and cut the plastic to the size that you'll need. We just happen to have a piece ready to go here. It doesn't need to be precise. Give yourself a little extra space on top, bottom, and sides. But you can always trim that up later. And the way to install this, on smaller windows you can do it yourself, but it's always good to have a partner if you're using uh, film on a big patio door or a big picture window. And you start at the top, and smooth that out. And then, as smooth as you can, stretch it out and adhere it to the sides. Don't worry about a little bit of the little bit of wrinkles you'll see here. We're going to take those out in a second in the next step. Once your film is completely attached to the tape, you're going to take a hair dryer and shrink that wrap to a very tight, crystal clear fit that'll stop drafts and also act as a third pane with a layer of dead space between your window and the film, which will greatly help reduce heating costs. And once you've used the hairdryer to shrink the plastic, you can go and trim up everything. You can do that around your whole window and you'll hardly notice that there's a plastic film on it. Baccarat comes in a variety of sizes and it's round and closed cell foam. There's also felt, rubber, and vinyl, but this is the easiest to work with. And what you're going to want to do is get your measurement out, take a piece of the foam, and then tuck it into that gap. And for that, you can use your fingers or a screwdriver or a putty knife, but you want to get it in there nice and tight and flush to the surface. And that's a very effective weather seal. You can leave that just as is, or you can caulk over that to make that a permanent seal. What about sealing gaps on windows and doors that you intend to keep using? For that, there are other products. They're made of felt, vinyl, rubber, or again, closed cell foam with an adhesive backing. There are a couple things you can do to your doors to help seal the gaps and cracks between the frame and the door, to keep the warm air in and the cold air out. One of them is to install weather stripping on the door frame. There are many types of weather stripping, vinyl, rubber, felt, but closed cell foam is the easiest to use because it already has an adhesive backing to it. And the way to do that is to start in the corner and press the weather stripping into place and then you remove the backing. And that gives you a nice foam seal that will seal the crack when you close that door because that foam will compress affording a tight seal. Another gap to address on your door is at the bottom. And as you can see, this already has a floor sweep attached. These come in a myriad of colors and sizes and are either self-adhesive or can be attached by drilling and screwing them up. In addition to keeping out any drafts from passing through the bottom of your door, they keep out dirt and insects. Another point where cold air can be entering your home is through light switches, and wall outlets. You can obtain foam insulation specifically made for these fixtures. And the way to install is to remove the cover plate 
and insert the foam behind the plate and reattach it. And that'll keep any drafts from entering your home through those outlets. Other areas in your home that you can winterize are gaps and holes through walls, floors, and ceilings. Under your sinks, all your plumbing fixtures are going to make penetrations to the wall. That's a good place to seal up those cracks. And if they're much bigger than the pipes, expandable foam is available. You simply squeeze the amount of foam around the pipe and it will expand to fill that hole. Other places to look are your attic to see if there are any penetrations with vents or holes for wiring. Other areas to look for gaps to seal are whether you have window mounted or wall mounted air conditioners, whether you have any ducts entering your house from your heating and cooling system, and if you have a fireplace, you're going to want to make sure, if you're not using that fireplace for winter, to put some insulation up in there to seal off the flue.